Lego Harry Potter is the best looking Lego game that we've ever produced. The team has worked incredibly hard and made a massive investment of talent into creating environments which are rich and magical in every detail. From a technical point of view, the implementation of a new physics layer throughout the game gives us lots of new gameplay opportunities. Now you can use magic to build with Lego brick by brick. So you'll see the Lego bricks sort of fall realistically, they'll feel realistic into the environment, but now you can move them around and actually build brick by brick. Magic is one of the crucial new focus points for LEGO Harry Potter. It enables you to do amazing things, and your characters will learn new magical spells as you progress through the game. Within the world of Hogwarts, there are lessons which you can take and learn spells which will enable you to do things you've never been able to do before. With each new magical spell, you'll gain access to a new area of Hogwarts. You'll trigger a new section of story. You may get to take control of a new character. So by learning magic and gaining in power, that's how you'll progress through the game. Magical building with LEGO enables us to set up a new kind of puzzle for a LEGO game, where you can use your magic to build with LEGO. So, for example, uh, entering the Hogsmeade Tunnel to get access to Hogsmeade. You're going to find a variety of situations where you're going to need to lift up LEGO platforms and move them into place, then jump on them, lift them up again and move them into a new place in order to progress through. You're going to be able to pick up a torch and use it to burn away obstacles for you. So that really that's a new kind of free LEGO play that we've never been able to do before. We've had the most fun making the cutscenes for LEGO Harry Potter. That's where we tell the story, that loved story, in a way that is new and fresh, where we use the power and surprise of LEGO to condense the story, to exaggerate the characters, but to unravel it in a way that I think is really, really funny. And the animators have done a brilliant job of filling that story with gags. We always find with our cutscenes that where the source material is the darkest, that's where the Lego interpretation becomes the funniest. Broom riding is one of the best things you can do as a young wizard. You'll see Quidditch in the game and you'll play around Quidditch. And again, we don't actually set up a big Quidditch match that you'll play as a, as a whole match, trying to score against another team. That's a diff that would be a different kind of game to what we have here. But everything you'd expect from the world of Harry Potter, you'll find in Lego Harry Potter. My favorite thing about the game right now is Hagrid's dog, Fang. Fang is a wonderful character. I love, I love playing as animal characters, and we've given him loads of special moves and animations. He can play dead, he can chase his tail, and he can attack as well, and dig. He's, he's full of fun. LEGO Harry Potter is coming soon this year, and we really make an effort to make sure that everybody can play our new games, so it'll be available in a variety of different formats, on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, PC, also on handheld platforms, Nintendo DS and PSP.